Since Gears 4 has been launched, we've received a lot of feedback uh, in a lot of different ways, but a lot of it's been about sort of the Nasher and what people are calling sort of close range inconsistencies. And after investigating it, some of these videos were showing that people were missing a couple pellets, which made the difference between a, like a, a kill and, and not a kill, uh, but it wasn't intuitive. Why were they missing and why were they getting frustrated at the game instead of just seeing that they had missed? And that has to do with some of the ways that the shotgun is set up coming from Gears 3. Some of the things that go into it to make sure that people can't shoot through walls means that the, the bullets come from a little further back than where the muzzle is. And that means that it's gonna spread out and maybe miss a couple pellets a little closer than people might expect. And it creates a feeling of inconsistency that we thought we could address. By moving the pellets a little further forward while still checking for that wall collision to make sure that you still can't shoot through walls, but the pellet spread is going to be a little bit tighter coming out of the gun because we've moved the place it shoots from further up. We hope that this really provides a lot of clarity for users. When you shoot, you're gonna get a kill or a miss. We hope that the number of times where it looks like uh, a kill but isn't will really drop down so it'll feel a, a lot more solid, a lot more consistent, uh, and we hope an overall better combat experience for players. Right now, in addition to the shotgun change that we just made, we're looking to do core and competitive tuning passes to bring an updated design based on a lot of community feedback, feedback from the pros, as well as some of the surveys that we've released to really tighten up uh, our weapon tuning. And we'll be talking more about these changes in the near future.